my, my whole life's a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, if you said to me three years ago that I'd be nominated for an RTS award, <laughs> I'd have laughed in your face. <laughs> so I'm Ashley, I am 28 years old, and I, when I left uni, I, days after graduating, I found myself at the O2 Arena in front of Kelly Rowland, Talisa, Gary Barlow and Louis Walsh because I was an X Factor contestant. So I was in a boy band for my first job and, um, and we, we were doing really well, we were tipped to win and I decided to quit the X Factor at 22 years old. And then after that, the BBC got in touch, BBC Three, and they invited me to present a, a documentary about being a care leaver. I was, I was fostered, so I presented this documentary on care and that really sparked my ambition to be a journalist. I just got to a point where I found myself being really fulfilled. I was, you know, I was in front of the camera, I was, you know, doing the media thing, but actually I was, I was asking questions, I was being thoughtful, I was, you know, writing my own scripts, I, um, I was in post-production helping with the formation of, of, of the film, so doing all of that, I just realised, wow, I want to be a journalist, I want to be in broadcast journalism. So that documentary really was uh, the opportunity I needed to, to, to help me realise that you know journalism, uh, journalism was accessible for someone like me. My colleagues don't come from a background of being in care. Most are privileged, most are, are, are white. And so as a, as a mixed race South London care leaver, my perspective is totally different. And when I started at the BBC, I think I was reticent about bringing myself to the table. I felt the pressure to conform, maybe to think the way other people did, to, to spout out the ideas that I thought were gonna be accepted. But now I've learned that actually embracing myself, embracing my background, embracing my unique way of thinking, that is so fundamental to, to my journalism. And, and it, it gets me further and it gets me more respect because you're bringing unique insights, you're bringing unique stories. And of course, that's only going to serve the audience really well. When Joe Bloggs thinks about a kid in care, they're not thinking Cambridge graduate or journalist, they're thinking underprivileged, unemployed person on benefits, potentially, or someone in the criminal justice system. And I just think if I can tell stories that show the struggles that kids in care have to go through, figures in the care community who are doing well, I mean, what great career goals to have, to, to, to give voice to the voiceless. That, that would be the strap line, I think, you know, in the stories that I do, giving voice to the voiceless, giving them a platform, giving them a spotlight. And that's what the Victoria Derbyshire programme is about, and a lot of our content, and that's just the editorial goal, to give voice to the voiceless. Whether it's, you know, um, speaking to footballers who've experienced abuse, or whether it's speaking to Grenfell survivors, or whatever, you know, I think the strapline of Derbyshire, the Victoria Derbyshire programme, absolutely is about giving voice to the voiceless. I, I think what I learned at Cambridge was to get rid of preconceptions about people um, and to engage with people and to try and understand people. And, you know, that has served me so well in journalism. Like, wow, like I can, I can go to, you know, a community that I've never, you know, engaged with before and I can let go of preconceptions and I can try and understand people and I can try and find stories and bring that to the full. What an amazing job. Career highlight for me, um, I have to say, being able to take such a lead on, on covering the Grenfell Tower fire and you know, meeting with survivors, filming with them, telling their stories. I've been really impacted by, by the story. Oliver Shone Talabi is a Grenfell survivor. I met him days after the fire, he was, he was living at a hospital because he, he had nowhere to live for two weeks. And seeing him get back on his feet, seeing him provide for his four-year-old daughter, seeing him try, you know, try and get a passport, trying to just navigate this awful incident, and just seeing how he's developed over the past seven months since the fire. It's just been really rewarding, it's impacted my life, and it's, I, I think that's a beautiful thing about journalism is that you're, you know, you're, you are immersing yourself into the lives of other people, often marginalised people, voiceless people, and when you see, when you get that insight, it does change you, it impacts you, and yeah, absolutely there's nothing better. To think that someone with my social background can be in the mix of winning an RTS is great. It shows that the future of journalism is really exciting, that 
And I'm hoping that just by being nominated, you know, another kid in care, another care leave is gonna, gonna see that and aspire to, to be a journalist.